And yeah, at the end of Bodyguard, I, I was like, I'm, I, I need to stop. I need to stop doing this for a while because it, it weighed very heavy on me. I was very isolated during it and you spend more time in someone else's clothes, saying someone else's words, thinking someone else's thoughts that you do lose a bit of yourself. And Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> At some point in our lives, mate, we've heard of this statement. Always be yourself. And it's true. I mean, we spend our whole lives copying others, being like others, mapping our entire existence and how we dress, our hair and everything, mate, on somebody else. We're too busy being someone else. We're not ever being ourselves. What if the boxer Anthony Joshua wanted to be a white footballer like Cristiano Ronaldo. He'd always spent time just cussing himself about his football skills. I'm not good enough, I'm rubbish. And he wouldn't be fulfilled. And on top of that, he'd be unhappy with his heritage, with his skin colour, with his culture. So of course guys, it's very important to be yourself. Some of you guys care too much about what people think and you're constantly conforming. But a lot of us that hear this and we're like, yo, be yourself, always be yourself. It's a bit confusing. I don't know what it means. What if you are still a boy, 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 boy? You're clearly not where you want to be. So what do you do? Or let's just say you are a crook. Well, are you a crook? You are a crook. You are a crook. Then it's game over for you, then, isn't it? You know what I mean? Or as somebody else would say, you're finished. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. Wallahi, you're finished. Wallahi, you you're finished. Win. To be fair, guys, we develop based upon our successes, our failures, the books we read, the people that we meet, our teachers, and movies that we watch, music that we hear. All of this shapes who we become. So we're constantly changing, is what I'm trying to say. Well, this bloke right here, he puts it very nicely. I don't want kids to go in there thinking I'm already, I exist as who I'm supposed to be right now and I'm great. Yeah. Right. I want them to think I may have a spark, I may have something special, but maybe it does need some cultivation. Maybe it does mm -hmm. need some advice. Maybe it does need some help. Maybe it needs me to be humble, but also confident Holy. in the fact that I'm going to get there and I need to work hard to get there. Look guys, we all have our journeys. We all have our problems, yeah? but we're all going to be tested. That's a fact. It's a hundred percent fact mate. Yeah, that we are all going to be tested and it's not rosy and cozy no matter how many filters that person has put onto the Instagram picture, it does not mean that they are happy behind closed doors. And no matter how many lighting is on a particular YouTuber, yeah, it doesn't mean they are not going through something. So chuck that out of your mind mate, yeah? Okay you Boy, boy, boy Some people are being tested by divorce Some people are being tested with wealth Yeah, they're in a court case, a legal dispute Some people are being tested by their illness Some people are being tested with their kids Some people are being tested by not being married Some people are being tested by the education Guys, trust me, problems will not stop Your problems will not stop, they'll continue but the difference between the people that are happy, it's not the fact that they don't have problems. It's the fact that they have problems, but they don't let it consume them. They don't let the problems become them. They are like the sky. The problem is like the cloud. It passes, another cloud will come. Don't for God's sake, let it consume you guys. That's the only difference. Yeah, Sheikh Suleiman gave a brilliant example. He said the difference between a practicing person and a non-practicing person is they're both in a ship. Both of them get storms but the person that's practicing will be able to ride the waves and get to the other side. He still gets the storm. The other guy, the storm comes, mate, it destroys the ship. Yeah, he's unable to get to the other side. That's the only difference. Problems do come but don't let it consume you. Surround yourself with positivity. Read positive books. Yeah, very good book is Change Your Life in Seven Days. 
listen to positive content, these motivational speakers. Yeah, there's loads of them, they upload their clips on a daily basis. Yeah, listen to them, go to the mosque, be in a positive environment. Yeah, initiate positive conversations with your parents and your siblings so you have a positive environment at home as well. The homes can be very toxic guys. And The Rock also, yeah, in his acceptance speech, made this point as well. I mean, I was it's half black, half Samoan, six foot four, 275 pound pro wrestler. You know, I was told at that time, well, you got to be a certain way. You got to drop some weight. You got to be somebody different. You got to stop working out. You know, and, and for years, I actually, I, I bought into it because you think, oh, that's what, that's what I'm supposed to do. And I was miserable doing that. So I made a choice and the choice was, I wasn't going to conform to Hollywood. Hollywood was going to conform to me. I guess that's more what they mean by be yourself. In terms of the things you can't change, like your skin color, your background, your family. You can't change these things. A lot of people are losing faith in humanity because we're too busy being somebody else. We're Muslims, we're representatives of Allah on this planet. We have the key. Allah says, you want happiness? It is only in the remembrance of Allah will hearts find satisfaction. Good is good, even if no one is doing it. And bad is bad, even if everybody's doing it. Until next time.